going to evaluate some logarithms here in this video. Remember what a logarithm is. It's basically finding how many twos it takes to multiply to hit a product of nine. Now, I'm going to kind of separate this because there's a plan A, a plan B. We'll use plan B if plan A doesn't work. We're going to take twos and multiply it to nine. Well, that's four. That's eight. That's 16, so I'm over 9, so that way isn't going to work. Okay. All right, now, then you use your change of base formula. Change of base. Okay. So, make a division line, and you put log, log, and then parentheses. Now, you got to get this right here. The base 2 goes on the bottom. Now, the product you're trying to multiply to goes on top. So you take log 9 divided by log 2. Okay, 3.17. Now that answer does make sense, and here's why. Because that's 8. 2 times 3 twos took you to 8. You weren't at 9 yet. But then 4 twos was too high, so it's between 3 and 4. Okay, log base 12 of 20. Okay, so I take my base 12. 12, obviously, isn't at 20. By the way, if it's 12 and 12, the answer is 1, because you'd already be at 12. 12 times 12 is 144, so that's too high. I'm never going to get back to that. That method doesn't work. So now you go COB, change of base, log, log. The base logarithm goes on the bottom, and the product we're trying to multiply to goes on top. So I take log 20 divided by log 12. Okay, 1.21. Makes sense. It's got to be between 1 and 2, because 2's was too many. 1's not enough, so it's 1.21. Okay, log base 7 of 30. Okay. So I go base 7. Well, right away, that's too high. Okay, seven's not enough. One seven isn't even close to above thirty, but then seven times seven is forty-nine. So I apply. Doesn't work. I apply my COB. So the base seven on bottom, product on top. Okay, one point seventy-five. It's going to be between 1 and 2. Okay. The answer to this ain't 2. If you put that, it's wrong. Okay, You're multiplying the 5s, not adding them. So here's a 5. Here's another 5. That's 25. So 5 to 25, no. Doesn't work. So COB. Base 5 on bottom. The product you're trying to get to 10 is on top. So you go log 10, close the parentheses, divided by log again, 5, 1.43. Okay, that's probably too many examples. We'll go one more. We'll do this one. Okay, equals. Okay, so... Take your threes, 9, 27, okay, I think that's over the 54, yep, sure is, 81. So, COB, that one that doesn't work, so we go base of 3, and the product 54, so I take the log of 54, Divided by the log of 3. That's why they invented logs. 3.63. Okay, now we're going to go to the back side. A little bit more complicated, but definitely doable. Okay. Now you're going to apply some properties you learned yesterday. You got log base 2 of 4 minus log base 2 is 16. Now, first thing you have to do is condense that so it's into a single logarithm. Okay. Circle the minus, that's important. Okay, you're going to get some pluses here eventually. You're going to write that as log base 2 just one time. And you're going to make a parenthesis, and you have a 4, 
and then minus. Minus means when I condense it, it's expressed as division. Minus goes with division, times goes with plus, and then 16. There's no numbers in the front, so no powers. Now I want that simplified. Log base 2. You can either reduce it as a fraction to 1 fourth, or you can uh, write it as a decimal. I'll go decimal, 0 0.25. Now you can put your equals. Now you can do your thing. If I write 1, 2 down, that's already too high. Okay, So that's not going to work. So I'm going to apply my COB. Log, log. Base 2 on bottom the product 0 0.25 on top. Now I'm going to explain why we get the answer we get here. Got negative 2. Remember the logarithm is an answer to an exponent. So, go real quick here. If I take this base 2 to the second power, you're like, well how is that equal to 0 0.25? Well easy. You put a 1 over it, the exponent goes positive, and it's 1 fourth. 1 fourth is equal to 0 0.25 as a decimal, so that's why you got what you got there. Okay, now we need to circle that minus and condense it. Log base 2 of 96 minus log base 2 of 3. So log base 2, and then minus we take the 96 divided by the 3. There's no coefficients in front of the log, so no powers. Okay. So now I simplify. 96 divided by 3 is 32. And now I'm ready to figure out what it equals. This one I will not need to do the COB because I've got 2, there's 4, there's 8, 16, and 32. So that equals 32 on the money. Okay. So how many factors of 2 was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is equal to 5. 2 to the 5th power equals 32. Okay, next problem. You need to condense it. Now, one thing, if you have a coefficient in front of your logarithm, bring it over here as a power. Okay? So when I write it in condensed form, it's divided by again, but we're going to divide it by 3 to the second. Well, 3 to the second is 9. If you have a power, simplify it first before dividing. It's 9. Then 27 divided by 9 is 3. I don't need the COB here because I'm already at 3 just by writing one factor of 3. So there's 1. The answer is 1. Okay. Okay, next one. Log base 6 of 12 plus log base 6 of 3. Okay. Now you got a plus. You're going to condense it, but now you're not dividing. You are now multiplying. 12 times 3. You've got to open your eyes here. 12 times 3 is 36. Now you're ready to do this. Okay, You shouldn't have to use your COB here because if I multiply 6's, 6 times 6 is 36. I put equals 36. So how many factors of 2 is that? Well, if 6 was that, it was 2. 6 to the second power equals 36. Okay, we're not doing this one. This is me being an idiot. Okay, log base 4 of 48 plus log base 4 of 3. Okay, so you got a plus, you got to condense it using multiplication when it's plus, division when it's minus. 48 not divided by 3 times 3. And then I find the product of 48 and 3, and that's 144. Now see if you can evaluate that just by multiplying 4s. Is it exact? That's 16. That's 64. Use your calculator if you're not sure. Too high. Never made it to 144, so you go to your COB. So the base 4 on bottom, the product I was trying to get to on top, and that will find at least the ballpark estimate. It's going to be an irrational number. So 3.58.
one through four, you don't have to condense. You're ready to roll, just like I was on the first page. Now here you have to start condensing, okay? So it's minus. Remember, these are base tens here if you don't see the base. It's a ten. A plus, that's times. Minus, that'll be division. And a plus, that's going to be multiplication. 